Welcome to SBR TV. I'm Peter Loshak with SportsbookReview.com with an online sportsbook industry update report for November 4th, 2011. The SBR posters poll for top sportsbooks that ran through October is now completed and the results are in. Five Dimes came out on top, which is not a huge surprise as Five Dimes serves U.S. players and also features their famous reduced juice lines as well as a large variety of betting options, which are usually hung very early. Industry leader Pinnacle came in second place. Their only knock to SBR posters is almost certainly that they don't take players from the U.S. In third place was Heritage, which has adjusted very well to the rapid growth that they experienced after taking over the U.S. players from Bet Jamaica and the Greek when those books closed to the U.S. market. Then in fourth place was Professional Book and Industry Pillar Bookmaker. And in fifth place was Bet Islands, a relatively new but up-and-coming book that has obviously impressed the SBR posters who've tried them out. Bet Islands recently received a ratings upgrade from SBR, and they now have a B rating. They're improving infrastructure, website performance, and most importantly, overall guidance by General Manager John Creta have impressed SBR management. The last ratings upgrade to Bet Islands was on August 5th, after SBR verified that the operation is backed by established industry bookmakers. SBR will continue to evaluate customer service and pay out feedback as the sportsbook grows, and players on Bet Islands are encouraged to voice their opinions regarding their experiences at Bet Islands at the Sportsbook and Industry Forum at sbrforum.com. The WSEX payout saga continues on as the once well-regarded book continues to struggle with years-old outstanding withdrawal requests. Right now, SBR has complaints of non-payments from WSEX totaling $570,000 spread out uh, over nearly 100 players. The oldest payout request is from October of 2009. The WSEX is making small attempts to pay back certain players, and SBR did get a report in early November of a player receiving a $2,000 payment that he had been waiting for since February of 2011. But the last large-scale payout on delinquent accounts was a year ago, in the fall of 2010, when WSEX distributed over $100,000 to players who had pending payout requests. But there hasn't been anything significant since then, and again, the total dollar amount of the complaints SBR has on file continues to grow, and in October of 2011, surpassed half a million dollars. Sportsbook Review handled a classic scammers getting scammed style industry dispute with the sportsbook Bet at Home recently, where Bet at Home confiscated a deposit from a player who was admittedly in clear violation of their bonus rules. The player admitted to bonus abuse by operating multiple accounts at Bet at Home in order to take advantage of Bet at Home's bonus offer that was meant to be only for players making their first deposits. Bonus abuse and multi-accounting are, of course, very prevalent in the industry, and sportsbooks do have to spend a great deal of resources on fraud management. But in this dispute, though the player was in clear violation of Bet at Home's rules, he did not profit from his attempts to scam the sportsbook as his accounts were down overall at Bet at Home, so the sportsbook had questionable right to confiscate his original deposit. SBR received a detailed and disturbing complaint from a player at Bet Us regarding NFL second half lines recently. SBR moderator and dispute mediator Justin Seven produced a video going over the details of this case, but the basic gist is that the player tried to bet into a listed second half NFL line at Bet Us only to get a message that the line had moved and that if he wanted the uh, bet, he would have to take the bet at the new line. But when the player declined the new line and went back to the wagering screen, the old line was still being shown. The player ran through some tests of what lines BetUs was appearing to offer and what lines they were actually accepting, and he concluded that BetUs was actually only taking bets a half point worse on one side than what they claimed to be offering. The halftime line appeared to offer plus seven and minus seven on both sides, but while the player was able to bet the listed plus seven side of the line, any time he tried to bet the minus seven side, he was notified that the line had changed and he'd have to take minus seven and a half if he wanted that side. This is obviously a very deceptive and dishonest practice, and anyone playing at Bet Us currently should be aware of this player's experience. For a more detailed report on this case, you can watch Justin Seven's video on this by clicking the link on the screen. And two sports books that were platinum sponsors of the forum, the RX, have announced that they're insolvent and will not be paying any betters funds on deposit. Sinbet.com and Pulsebet.com, two unheard of books, were introduced less than three months ago in August of 2011 to the RX forum users by Wilhelm, the head moderator at the RX. Complaints came in to SBR about the book's operations, and two and a half months later, on November 1st, a Sinbet company representative posted that players with funds on deposit would simply not be paid, blaming processors. Both players and SBR have attempted to contact Sinbet and Pulsebet by phone and live support since then without any success, although both sportsbooks do continue to post lines each day. And then finally, VIPSports.eu, rated C by SBR, recently distributed thousands of emails to former players of the now-defunct VIPSports.com. The manager at VIPSports.eu was formerly employed by VIPSports.com and has an original database list of VIPSports.com customers.
The original VIP Sports went offline without paying all players, closing its doors faster than seasonal account holders could react to a notice to withdraw their funds. SBR has assisted some of those players in receiving payments from another startup sports book with former uh, VIP sports personnel, gtbets.com, but SBR believes that a significant amount of VIP sports players remain unpaid. SBR advises players to uh, steer clear of any VIP-associated property for the time being. And that's it for this week. We'll be back soon with more news updates. If you need assistance with a sportsbook dispute, fill out a complaint form at sportsbookreview.com or email help at sportsbookreview.com, or you can call 830-515-4122 for help. For SBR TV, I'm Peter Loesch.